people remember how well you did it, not how fast. Preparing your laboratory notebook. Howdy y'all, this is Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to prepare the laboratory notebook for your labs. Your laboratory notebook is an important document that shows the quality of your lab work. So you must be neat and accurate. Your notebook should be used to record the observations, data, and calculations. Your notebook should be the primary recipient of your data, not notebook paper, not scratch paper, not paper towels, not toilet paper, none of the things, just your lab book. Your notebook should be honest. It should be 100% honest, uh, no erasing or using whiteout. Your motto should be think first, then write. That's how you avoid mistakes. So the seven steps to set up your lab book. Step number one, use a composition book with a sewn binding and quadrille pages. And that means graph paper. Step number two, write chemistry and your name on the front cover. Let's look and see how that's done. Chemistry and your name. Step number three, use only the right hand pages for your records and use the left hand pages for scratch paper or leave them blank. Step number four, on the very first page, put the name of the researcher, that's you, the name of the institution, that would be your school, put the date the notebook was started and later when it was finished, and the contact information. Don't put your personal contact information, use the schools. Here's an example. Let's put in the name, then the school, and then let's put in when it was started and we'll put for when it's going to be finished. Now let's go ahead and put the contact information. There you go. Step number five, save the next two or three pages for the table of contents. And that would be depending on how large you write and include the title, the date, and the page number for each entry. Let's look at an example. All right, there's the table of contents. Let's put an entry in and there's the title, there's the date, and the page number it starts on. Step number six, in ink, number all the right-hand pages on the lower right uh, corner. You may reverse this if you are left-handed, of course. Example, notice that we're going to write a one in the right-hand corner and continue to do that for as many pages as you have. Step number seven, if you make a mistake, draw a line through the error and continue. Do not use whiteout or erase. Pre-lab, now that we've got all the, uh, the lab books set up, let's go and look at what we would do before we come to lab. Before lab, you should have the following ready. Title, date, purpose, materials, procedure, and data tables. Should all be ready before you come to class. Let's take a look at an example here. We're going to put in, there's our title, there's our date, page number was already there. Now let's put in our purpose. There you go. And now materials and procedures. And I'm just going to write a couple of steps here. Of course, you would know it would continue on for as many steps as you have. Now let's do data tables on the next page. Remember, we only use uh, right-hand pages and put in the date. There's a data table, but that's not a very good data table. Let's use rulers whenever we make a data table or graphs. There you go. Thank you. Looks much better. All right. Record all observations directly into your lab book whenever you're doing a lab. Don't write it other places. Now, post-lab action. You've done your setup. You've done pre-lab. Now let's look at what you do after the lab. Graphs should be large. They should be neat and they should be labeled. And there's a nice example over there of one of my physics classes. Calculations should be neat, organized, and shown to justify. Analysis should include your observations. It should include uh, possible errors and what you think might have gone wrong and your opinion. And this should be in a nice organized paragraph. Your conclusion should have or should not just repeat the procedure, 
but should interpret the results and tell what happened. And it should be written neatly with correct grammar and punctuation and good spelling. All right, some general information about a nice lab book. Do not decorate the lab book. Do not decorate the errors, the lab reports. And look how gross it looks when people do that. It just doesn't look professional. Keep it nice, neat, and clean. Use a ruler to draw tables and graphs. Keep them nice and neat as we talked about earlier. And do not be wordy. Get to the point. Do not cut and paste, and do not use white up. Everything should be to the point and original. And never, ever tear out a page. Just cross things out. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, and check out some of my other videos on my channel. And most of all, be sure to subscribe. Happy on, y'all.